blocks are made in Hastings. They're made from 50% recycled content. Um, so they don't come very far and they're fairly heavily recycled. Um, for an equivalent, so compared to equivalent size amount of brick, these use about a fifth of the amount of energy in manufacture. Uh, these are also cheaper. Um, and these are about the cheapest blocks you can buy. Uh, the only thing is the builders don't like so much because they're heavier <laughs> to work with. They tend to like using these things, which are aerated uh, uh, blocks. These use, these for the same uh, size of wall, these require about twice as much energy to make as those. Um, if you're looking for therm if you want a high thermal mass construction, these aren't as good. High, con high thermal mass means something that takes a long time to heat up, a long time to cool off, uh, which you might want in the south facing room. The average British house, new built house, performs only half as well as it's been designed to in terms of the insulation uh, performance and thermal bypasses most of that. And the internal was rebuilt with a thermal block, so they look you can see lots of bubbles in there. And they are um, uh, the of that whole build up. Um, about 80% of the insulation value comes from the bit in the middle, and about 20% comes from the blocks themselves. And since you've got to have some blocks in there, you might as well use insulating ones. There's places where air can get in behind the insulation and then get back out again, and that that basically bypasses the insulation, and it's a, which is why it's called thermal bypass. Um, it's what kills performance on on conventional British houses a lot. Um, the average British house, new build house, performs only half as well as it's been designed to in terms of the insulation uh, performance. Um, so this is a fairly c conventional timber frame construction. This is what is done in most loft conversions uh, with, with a few differences. And differences don't cost very much, but they make quite a big difference to the performance. So the insulation is thicker. Um, this particular type is a tongue and groove board and what that allows us to do is to make the whole thing into a, an, an, air sh an airtight layer. So the, <coughs> where they slot together we put um, a, a foaming expanding uh, polyurethane glue and uh, that makes the whole construction airtight. This bolt here holds on the board which the render goes on, on the outside. Um, and the reason that's, the reason that's there instead of in line with the joist is to uh, make the thermal, the thermal path through the construction longer. So basically, uh, steel construct, uh, conducts heat very well. Um, stainless steel only, construct, only conducts heat about a third as well as conventional steel. So if you change your fastener from uh, conventional steel to stainless steel, which might cost you a few pence per fastener, then you only lose about a third as much heat through there. The difference with this from standard double PVC double glazing is the core of it is made from a relatively high percentage of recycled PVC, and it's got uh, glass fibres added to it for strength. So instead of needing steel reinforcement on a window this big, which typically a PVC window this big would nearly always need some steel built into it, um, this doesn't. It's the actual, um, the actual body itself, it's called the extrusions, it's strong enough on its, on its own.